Thanks for joining. Today I'll show you how to embed HTML in Outlook emails so you can send brilliant HTML email campaigns. Maybe, for example, you'd like to send this kind of internal newsletter to your staff. Or maybe you prefer to send marketing emails. Really, it's up to you. The sky is the limit. And the great news is that it can be done in seconds. It's quick and easy so that you can focus on the content that matters and get in touch with your readers more frequently. Now, I'll show you first how to do this in Outlook on the web, and then we'll see how to do the same thing in the Outlook desktop app if you prefer to use it. Plus, we'll go through the typical old school workaround, which you might have seen in other tutorials. And then I'll show you my preferred method, which is even quicker and doesn't even require looking at any HTML code. Let's start with our first method, which basically relies on adding any kind of placeholder, for example, a smiley or a word. And I recommend adding a word that you will easily recognize later on and you will see why. What we'll do is take the HTML code behind your email template. So just open your email template, do a right click and view page source. And from there, you're going to select everything and copy everything. Okay. And now we can go back to the email template and you might have seen this in other tutorials. That's an ancient method that no longer works in Outlook, but don't worry, there's a workaround. So before they advise that you do a right click and you could edit the HTML directly from here, but you see Outlook has changed the option and it's no longer available, except it is if you use your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, you will do option command J. And if you're on the Windows computer, you will do Control Shift J. And from there, you see that the console is opened. And what we want to do is go to Elements. And now we're going to search for our placeholder. So in my case, I will do Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac. And we'll look for the word birthday. Okay, now you see it's been found. And from there, you can do the right click, edit as HTML. And now we'll select everything, remove this, and instead paste our code click anywhere else. And here you go. You can see that your email template has been added to your Outlook email draft. So it's pretty easy once you understand the principle. Of course, you will need to have your template ready and you will need to deal with a little bit of code, pasting things and opening the console. So if that sounds a little bit complicated for you, don't worry, keep watching because there's another method that I'll show you next. It doesn't involve any code and it's pretty easy, but let's say that you feel fine with this one. And what you want is to do the same thing, but using the Outlook desktop app. So it's even easier in here. What you will do first is go to your email templates if you're on a Mac, you just select everything and then copy everything and go back to Outlook. Just paste this and that's it. You're done. So if you're on a Mac, really, it's pretty simple. Now, if you're on PC, it's slightly different. What you'll do is go to attach file and then you will browse your computer and just find the HTML template. My case would be this one. And then on your Windows computer, it will not say choose. Instead, it will say insert and insert as text. So in your case, that's how it will look. Insert and then click insert as text. So you can embed HTML code within Outlook, whether you use a PC or a Mac. However, you can see it take a couple of steps and getting used to dealing with HTML code, with using the console, if you use Outlook on the web. And if you're looking for a more straightforward approach, something that's quick and easy and doesn't require managing any kind of code, then I suggest that you check out Publicate. So what's great with Publicate is that it's a no code, no design skill required email builder. Everything is drag and drop based. You will have your own library where you can upload all of the content you'd like or even use free content. And then you can just drag and drop the content onto the newsletter. It's very easy to use. And then you can send, of course, from Outlook. They have a dedicated add-in and also an extension that works with Outlook on the web. And it's packed with features that make creating much faster and lots of features that also help you analyze how well your emails are doing. So you will get analytics every time. So let me show you how it looks inside. Once you're logged in, you can start here from one of the free templates and you can see you've got hundreds of templates to choose from. So I'm pretty sure you'll find something that inspires you. Or if you'd like to create your own template, then you can go back to the create tab and select email newsletters. And from here, you can just drag and drop anything you've added here from the left hand side, which is your library. So in your library, you can add anything from documents, images, videos, links, etc. And because everything is drag and drop, I'll show you how fast it can be to create your own template. So let's say I want to add those three links. I can just select them and then drag and drop them. And in one go, you can see that I've added to my newsletter, plus all links are automatically scraped so that you will get the image, the title and the description that come directly from your link. 
And you'll notice also I've got some social share options and a call to action button here, and they've automatically appeared and everything is automatically styled. This is because I've set this up in my brand kit over here. So in your brand kit, you can preset lots of options so that your emails are always in line with your brands and this will save you tons of time. Everything is super flexible. So every time you want to add a row, you just click on plus. You can select either the type of content that you want to add, or you can start with the design and then fill in your design with something that is on your library. But let's say I want to add a title. I'll start here and let's say that's my newsletter. And of course I can style here from the left hand side, but also you could use some of the safe brand style. You see, for example, this orange title I got here already. And then before you send, if you want to check how it looks, you just go to preview. And here you will see exactly how your newsletter or email template look on desktop or on the mobile. So all of them are fully responsive. You don't need to worry about this at all. And then to export to Outlook, they made it super easy with a dedicated extension for Outlook on the web and a dedicated add-in for people who use the Outlook desktop app. So let me show you how it looks, for example, on the web. Once you've installed the Publicate extension, you will notice this Insert Publication button at the top of your email draft. Just click on it and this pop-up window opens showing all of your email templates as thumbnails. Plus you can see you've got folders, you can organize everything and also you can add team workspace so you can even collaborate with colleagues or with clients and have different team workspace that are separate from one another. Then when you found the template you want to add, just click on it and here you go, your email is ready to send. Couldn't be faster and easier. Now, if you prefer to use the Outlook desktop app and you're a PC user, they have a dedicated add-in. I'm on a Mac, so I'll just show you the screenshot of how it looks like. You will see this import publication button in your Outlook email draft on the Outlook desktop app. And sometimes it can show this way with three dots and then you just click on the import publication button. It just depends on your Outlook version. And if you do a right click actually on this import publication, you can ask that this button be added to your ribbon. So you will see it the same way I've shown first. And then once you click on it, you will see all of your newsletters with the title of the newsletter and you can just add it from there. And that means that if you're the creator of those emails, but you need someone else, for example, a client or a colleague to send the emails, it will be very very easy for them. All you will need to do is invite them to what we call a team workspace and then ask them to download either the publicate extension or the add-in. And then they will be able to just click on this insert publication button and import a newsletter that you've created for them. And so with Publicate, it's much easier to actually create any of your email templates, email campaigns, uh, what you would call previously an HTML email, because you can just use the drag and drop. You don't need any coding or design skills. And then it's super easy to just import it to Outlook, whether you use the Outlook desktop app or whether you use Outlook on the web, just one click on the insert publication button and you're set. And again, this means that you can very easily collaborate, whether it's with your colleagues or with your clients. Anyone can send for you if you're on holidays, for example. So if you've entered this tutorial and you think this could be helpful for you, check out the link in the description below to get your free 14 days trial. And also have a look at our YouTube channel so you can get a lot more tips and helpful videos on how to create beautiful email templates, professional newsletters, and much more. Also let us know, for your email templates, do you use in-house designers or a drag and drop tool like Publicate? Or if you had more time to spend on email templates, would you focus on sending more emails out more frequently or using the time to find better content? We'd really love to know and if you have any questions, we're happy to help. So feel free to comment below and talk to you soon.